I may not be the best at investing in stocks, but with the help of AI, I'm determined to become one. I'm planning to create a chatbot that guides me through stock investments, helping me find suitable stocks and determine their ideal prices. It will also provide recent company events to aid my decision. Plus, you can customize it to act as a personal assistant, helping with coding or other tasks. So, let's go ahead and create the next year's project as soon as possible using the command npx create next tab. Once you're done with that, we'll proceed to install all the necessary packages and update the scripts. Next, we'll create the auth.config.ts file and in this file, we'll set up the authentication for the Next.js project. Here, we'll define how users can log in and sign up. The secret part, which includes a secret key for the authentication. We'll also define the pages section that specifies where users go for sign in and sign up. The callback part includes functions that run during authentication, such as checking if the user is logged in and updating tokens and sessions. Additionally, we'll define the provider sections for adding external authentication services. Make sure to add the authentication secret key in your .env file, which you can generate it from this website. Now, let's go ahead and create auth.ts file, where we'll set up the authentication by importing necessary modules, such as next auth for handling credentials for credential-based authentication, along with with other utility functions and actions. The next auth function is used to configure authentication using settings from the auth config object. Within this configuration, a credential provider is specified which manages authentication based on email and password. The key part of this code is to authorize functions within the credential provider. This function handles the authentication process by first validating the received credentials using a scheme. If the credentials are valid, it retrieves the user's information and hashes the provided password with the user's salt for comparison. If the hashed password matches the stored password, it authenticates the user indicating successful authentication. Otherwise, it returns null indicating that the authentication is failure. Next, we are going to create a new file called utils.ts in the library folder. Here, we will define a CN function that combines CSS class names dynamically for React component styling. We will also include the nano id constant to generate unique 7 character string. Additionally, we'll define the run function to execute asynchronous functions without blocking the main thread, while sleep introduces delay for asynchronous operations. Finally, we'll declare get string from buffer that converts the buffer data to hexadecimal strings, often used in cryptographic tasks. Next, let's customize the layout. I'll add a basic layout template which you can implement with a different layout as well. For now, I'm just implementing my own and creating a sign in and a login page. I'll also add some actions inside those pages to perform our basic user authentication process. Then, I'll create a new folder inside the library folder called chat. And with that, I'll create a new file called actions.tsx. Lastly, we need to define the model. I'll do that with the help of OpenAI's documentation. Here, you'll need to customize the content parameter inside the messages to specify what the model is going to do. In this case, I'll specify that this model is specifically for stock trading but you can customize this based on your specific needs. And then you can also create the functions for easier actions. For example, let's create a function called list where I'll provide a description listing three imaginary stocks currently trending in the market. And remember, OpenAI's API doesn't stick with the current date. You need to handle this problem as well. However, for this example, I had fine tuned that model. So you can list various functions like show stock price, show stock purchase, and get events. You can customize this page according to your specific needs. We'll use these actions inside the chat page by creating the chat component. So I have condensed everything to make it easier to understand. If you run this app using the command npm run there, it should work well. Now let's retrieve a stock price. As you can see, I'm getting the Apple stock price and it shows today's stock price because I have configured it accordingly. You can also use this technology in your personal chat to implement some incredible features. With that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.